Hello, dear viewers! I'm glad to welcome you on our channel. As always, I'm Alexander Sudriv, and today we will talk about some of the events that take place in the project's life. Many of you who actively follow our social media have already repeatedly seen the work that is conducted on the construction site, namely on the territory of the Special Economic Zone, the Alabushev site, where the Future Design and Engineering Technology Department is built. And there is really a lot of work. It is already very clear how many concrete foundations have grown out of the ground, and in the near future, I think we will be able to see how the elements of the metal frame for the building will be mounted in these concrete foundations. And then there are even more interesting and large-scale views lying in store for us. But this doesn't mean that we work only on the construction site. The work on the temporary leased premises is also in full swing. It includes the ongoing testing, modeling and calculations for the electric rotating machines, a huge amount of work in the testing laboratory and so on. But today we can say that the project is entering a new stage and a new level of development. Because right now we're in the new facilities where the repair works are in full swing. You can see and hear it for yourself. The premises are being prepared to accept the equipment previously ordered by us in China, by our partner Viktor Aristov, in order to set up the automated production line. This equipment will make it possible to produce small-scale pilot batches of induction electric motors. Depending on the size and complexity of the design, the number of motors produced per month will vary, but the average number is 12,000 units. And this is quite a serious number of motors, which Savalmash will be able to handle, even on the least premises. This is necessary in order to reach the maximum use of the capacities of the future design and engineering technology department as soon as possible. At the moment on these premises, after installing the production line, the training of specialists will be carried out. I mean the personnel who will work daily with this equipment. The workflow methodology will be elaborated, programs will be created, the equipment will be optimized and debugged, the necessary tooling will be created. Among other things, it will ensure clearly demonstrating the capabilities of automated production for certain modern models. And it is a big event in the project's life. Many people have been waiting for this event, and now it is very close. But in addition, the number of leased premises will be increased by one more space. We are talking about the testing laboratory. Many of you have already seen it. I think now the footage on the screens confirms to you what it looks like today. But in accordance with certain requirements and standards, we've decided to expand the area of the laboratory in order to enhance the safety of employees, the quality of work, and so on. In particular, such rearrangements will ensure protecting the testing line from the premises where the employees are located at the time of testing, as well as the high-precision meteorological equipment. This will allow us to meet certain standards and requirements. It will also allow us to bring the accreditation of the Sovelmash testing laboratory closer. Accreditation will increase the value, importance and significance of the test reports and test results provided by the Sovelmash testing laboratory, which in turn will have a positive impact on the trust of potential customers and will once again confirm the suitability of the technology and its performance. It will allow the company to authoritatively declare the results of comparative tests. Besides, these results will be given the same weight and respect not only on the territory of the Russian Federation, but also abroad. This issue is quite complex. It has a lot of subtleties and nitty-gritty details. But nevertheless, on your screens you can now see the work that corresponds to the preparation of the premises for their commissioning on the temporary leased premises, which will enable increasing the current capacities of Sovelmash and elaborating all the necessary processes. Dear viewers, later you will be able to see even more useful information, learn more about the project's life. Please subscribe to our social media, leave your comments, follow the project. See you again!